Mm-hmm. So we opened up the first roller skating center hmm. on West Warren and Central. West Warren. Oh, man. You know I went to Northwestern, so. Oh, man. <laughs> West Warren and Central. It that's used a, to be uh, it used to be a bowling alley. That's a, yeah. And we converted it to a roller skating. That's a colorful community right now. Hey. <laughs> that term. Colorful. <laughs> Very colorful. And the good thing about it, we across the street was a vacant bar. Mm-hmm. So I communicated with those owners, mm-hmm. got my uh, liquor license, and we b- we bought the bar. Hmm. So parents could come, drop the kids off to roller skate or whatever. Yeah, and it's like go across the street, across- get yourself a glass <laughs> of Cavassia. <laughs> And we had a pool table in there. It's like, man, so, I can do backwards. Like, so yeah, it was, yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah. good. It was good. I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. And then later on, say about 1979, we had a roller skating rink came in from Ohio to Detroit. Mm-hmm. They had several rinks across the country. Okay. So they had their. So they were franchising roller skating rinks. I yeah, never even knew yeah, it was a roller skating right. rink franchise. Right now, it's it's, it's like uh, in the bowling alley world, it's taking off with like the neon lights and they call it like um, good bowling. I'm pretty sure somebody's going to add that same feel to roller skating soon or whatever. <laughs> like nightlife, <laughs> nightlife roller skating, you know, you know. The thing is, we, we, uh, the, this company had opened up roller skating there on 8 Mile and Myers. Mm-hmm. And they were only, had only been there for a couple of years, but they didn't have good management there. Mm-hmm. They were out of town, and they found out that the manager there, some of the money, was not being. <laughs> hey, you. Let me let me tell this to everybody in business. Nobody has love for your business like you do. So I'm not necessarily saying that that means that they will steal. But it definitely means that it's hard to do business and conduct business uh, with people that don't really have a vested interest in what it is. And it, it's difficult to even tell what that is. And you sometimes will lose money from your register in finding out whether a person really cares about your grander vision or not. See, the cash money coming into a, a business like that, the manager had the opportunity of only putting so much in the register. Uh, well, I mean, as we see, if 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 it's something worth stealing, it's, it's certain <laughs> people filling out how to steal it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, that's a, that's a story as old as time. Because at that location, they had a they could put a thousand people in the, in the building, mm-hmm. and sometime they would put a thousand in there because. Yeah. It, it, well, kids were in, into roller skating great yeah. because and then also you may have a turnover too so like one kid comes from 11 to 1 and another kid comes from 1 to 3 you know right. what I mean so as you say that thousand that can be a moving thousand had a lot of programs there well no that could be a thousand in there at one time yeah that's what I'm saying yeah. so that thousand uh-huh. may turn over and one day that thousand that's there may turn over four or five times I, I enjoyed it so much that We had the uh, opportunity of working with a lot of good people. A lot of a lot of disc jockeys Mm -hmm. would come there with their venues, Hmm. and uh, the late Doc Elliott. He was a Hmm. good friend of mine. Wow, uh, Doc Elliott. Yes, I heard that (laughs) in a minute. Rest in peace. Uh, Right, talented, talented. Mm Yeah, and then uh, there was just so many good friendships I I acquired in the industry and uh and while doing that even uh uh god's world records i mean god's world music Mm -hmm. store that's on seven mile yeah he used to give a gospel skating party every thursday black revolutionaries distillery owners italian fashion retailers and motown grammy winners all share their best stories never before told in any other media outlets on detroit is different visit detroitisdifferent.com or download the detroit is different app on apple's app store or google's play store